I've grown up in band and music um, pretty much since I was in, in elementary school. So continuing to be a part of it and continuing to share my love for music uh, in a program like this is, is a joy every day. Lots of kids to manage. Uh, we have slated for this upcoming year about 380 students. It's the largest organization in the school and we have to be able to manage them, get them into the right place, and make sure that they're all successful. I do. We also have to work pretty hard to fundraise money um, outside of our school money that we get and also district money. Um, we are lucky here at, in, in Round Rock ISD in that we have uh, a very supportive administration at all the schools that value the arts and find that they're an integral part of our um, children's education. And I, I, I would hope that that is more nationwide, that we could stress the importance of the arts and uh, as important as our academic classes are to our students I think our fine arts classes are equally important to round out our students and that's not just band that's visual arts that's uh, choir orchestra band uh, dance theater I think they're all equally important in, in their value to a student's growth especially in the their formative years of growing up and kind of developing into the people they might become I mean, I wouldn't be the person I am without them, uh, for, for more reasons than one. here at school is that it's more what I like to do, like singing, dancing, dragonettes, and choir. So we have to ask ourselves, what are we contributing to that legacy right now? And when I think about it, I'm really worried. To be quite frank, I'm concerned. I'm skeptical that we're doing very much of anything. We're in a sense failing to act in the future. We're purposefully, consciously being laggards. We're lagging behind. Franz Fanon, who was a psychiatrist from Martinique, said each generation must, out of relative obscurity, discover its mission and fulfill or betray it. What is our mission? What do we have to do? I think our mission is to reconcile, to reintegrate science and the arts. Because right now, there's a schism that exist in popular culture. You know, people have this idea that science and the arts are really separate. We think of them as separate and different things. And this idea was probably introduced centuries ago, but it's really becoming critical now because we're making decisions about our society every day that if we keep thinking that the arts are separate from the sciences, and we keep thinking it's cute to say, I don't understand anything about this one, I don't understand anything about the other one, then we're going to have problems.
not have a very good show. <laughs> and our show would look kind of like ugly and not as amazing as usual. If there were no programs like band or anything, I would not know what to do. I'm in 10th grade and I'm in band. My name is Lisa Makaduski. I'm a sophomore and I'm in band. My name is Heather Cho. I'm a sophomore at Round Rock High School and I am in the orchestra.